Have you heard about UiPath Task Capture? So what is UiPath Task Capture? UiPath Task Capture is a tool that records workflows to help document the business processes. When you have to automate a business process for some department, that time you need to understand what are the steps they are taking, which application they opened, where did they click, what did they type, and then where did they submit. So all the steps that the business operations team go through one by one, this task capture would help you to document that in workflows or in a proper diagram so that it is easy to understand where and how the process is carried out. So this is about UiPath task capture. Next, let's see how to install task capture. You have to go to uipath.com forward slash product forward slash task capture forward slash download task capture. I'm going to pass this link in the description of the video. Please do use this link. Once you are on this page, you need to fill the details. First name, last name, business email ID, country, region, company, job title, phone number, and then accept and hit on register. Now, many of us may not like to enter our company email ID. I have my orchestrator community edition using my personal email ID. I tried with my personal email ID and it worked. You can give it a try and see if that is working for you. After submitting the form, you will see something like this. Thanks. Check your email for the download link. We appreciate your interest and wish you a smooth automation journey. I opened my email and I could see there is an email from UiPath. Thank you for signing up for UiPath Task Capture Free Community Edition. Let's get started. Select your UiPath Task Capture Download. There are two different options available based on the need, based on your system. If it is a 64-bit operating system or if it is a 32-bit operating system, you can choose. I have a 64-bit operating system. I am going to use Download UiPath Task Capture 64-bit. After you have clicked on this button, the download has completed after some time. I am going to click on this Task Capture Setup.exe. I see a task capture setup page has appeared. I'm going to click on agree. And now the installing has started. You can see the installation has completed in matter of few seconds. And then the UiPath welcome task capture window is appearing on my screen and checking the licenses. Okay. Now, if you want to go through the demo documentation and training, you can use this option for the moment. I'm going to click on Don't Show again and I'm going to cl click on Close. I'm going to click on this button and you can see it has logged in using my personal email account. I'm going to sign out for a moment for a testing. It has signed out. Let me close this. I'm going to close this task capture. Now let us open it from our start search. I'm typing task capture and there is an app already installed and also there is an icon. You may find it on your desktop. You can click on any of them. Now, when once you click on it, this is how it will open. You can see the version number and it is checking license. Now it has automatically signed me in. And here it tells you whether you are using a community edition, enterprise edition or whatever it is, right? So for me, I already have an enterprise license. My UiPath assistant is connected. So it has already detected and it said enterprise edition 22.4.12. For you, it might be community edition. Now let's see how to use the task capture. For this, you should be on the task capture page. Before that, before we start creating or start, start using the task capture, behind the scene, you open a site called acme-test.uipad.com. This link also, I'll pass it in the description of the video. You can pick it from there or you can simply type it. Now, what do you do? First of all, we don't want the task capture to capture our email, password, because this has got certain sensitive information, which I don't want uh, the task capture to capture it because you might be sharing that document with many people. So you don't want those sensitive information to be entered. So what I'm doing, first of all, I will try to log into this using my email ID and password. So now 
I have logged in into Acme test.uipad.com. I'm going to keep the resolution to 100%. All fine. Now, this is how the Acme system one appears. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take certain steps in this application and I want to see how the UI path task capture captures all the steps properly. So once you are on the page, let me go back to task capture. Here, the very first step you have to click on new document. What you have to do, click on new document. Now, once you click on the new document, you see there will be two options for you. Build diagram, capture process. Now to start with, you will use the capture process. The build diagram is for complex automations where you have multiple decisions, multiple deviations, multiple exceptions. You might use this build diagram. This is more like draw.io, how you use it, right? It's more like that. Now the task capture is an automated process. I'm going to use the capture process here. So let's click on capture process. Okay. And ensure the application is already sitting behind the scene and you close all other applications to avoid it doesn't take any other application screenshots okay so close all your application and keep the target application behind the scene now in this generate low quality selectors without impacting capturing performance so i'll keep it as it is and i'm going to hit on submit okay people preparing capture now you will see your target application is at the back end and you have the task capture screen here. Then all I have to do, click on start capture. What you have to do, click on start capture. And now it will not do anything. Immediately it doesn't do until unless you use a mouse click or you type. Until you do something, it is going to just wait for you. So you can see it has not done anything so far. Now on this application, I'm going to first click on this user option. What I'm doing, I'm going to click on this. So click is a event. So it is going to capture all your events. So first I'm going to click on user options. Then you can see the moment I clicked, you can see a screenshot action one user option I have clicked. So it has taken a screenshot, do you see? Then I'm going to click on reset test data. I'm going to click on reset test data. So now you can see it has taken action two it has taken another screenshot now the screen has changed in one screen i have taken two steps i clicked on user options reset test data now the screen has changed do you see the screen has changed and here are you sure you want to reset your test data it is asking in the application the next action i'm going to take is hit on reset test data Okay, so you can see another action number three is reset test data. It has taken a screenshot. Okay, and then after hitting on that, the application has shown a prompt. I'm going to click on this prompt where it says, okay, your test data has been successfully reset. I'm going to click on okay. All right, so these are the four steps I have taken. I'm going to stop the task capture here just to keep it simple. Okay, so there were two screens one is acme system one uh, detect and merge same screen actions don't show again i'm going to close this okay leave this now look at it Wh what it's saying acme system one dashboard google chrome so this is the very first screen where we have taken action number one action number two so here you can give your own title for example what was the action here action title was click on i'll say click on user options okay you can provide a description if you want the second action was click on reset test data done so this is my first screen so screen number one so here i'm going to you can also change it here okay the title if you want for example screen one acme system one dashboard okay google chrome screen one actions for example if i want to write it's up to you and then i'm going to click on the second one the second one is a screen to action i'll say screen it's up to you how you would like to write it screen to acme system one reset test data here i clicked on 
reset test data. This is the first action. So here I will say our title. Click on reset test data button. And then here the second one, I'll say click on OK button on the pop-up. Okay, up to you how you like to describe it. So I've written a few things and I'm going to I'm done with it. Okay, I'm going to close this. Uh, uh, not close. So you're, you're done with this. So once you are done with all this specific element, if you click outside, it is gone. If you click on any of this element, it shows you what are this capture screenshot. Now you have done. Now what is the use of it next? Let's provide a specific title to this. Okay, it has a title called task capture something something with the date. So what I will do, I'll give it a proper name. So what should I give? Uh, Acme reset data steps and I'm going to hit on submit okay the name has changed I'm going to click on file now from here it is becoming interesting I'll show you so what I'll do I'll click on file and then I'm going to click on uh, you can save it if you want uh, save and save as dot ssp like you save draw dot io I don't want to save it what I will do I'll click on file I'll click on export and I have these options. Let me show you the very first interesting option, which is what.docx. So if I click on this option, I need to give some, the title has automatically came, Acme Reset Data Steps. You can put a description. You can type the author name. So I'll type my name, Rakesh Kib. And then, uh, and then I'm going to hit on next. Um, document property template automation hub PDD UI path PDD so how you want okay so uh, let me select UI path PDD okay I'll select this or you can select whatever the template you want to use or you have your own template you can uh, sorry you can add click on add template include place placeholders in your template to display all documented data in ex exported file okay you can add a template so I'll just select this UI path PDD and then I'm going to click on export then it is saying, okay, now your data will be saved in DOCX, which is what document format. I'm going to hit on save. So what I did so far, I hit on file, export, export as what document. And I'm going to open file. Okay, now you can see a document has been created. Acme reset data steps based on the title I have given. And then if I scroll down, it is more of a PDD. You can see the PDD has been created process overview as is process map process statistics all this as part of the pdd it automatically created a pdd for me uh, author it you know here see my name has given role and all you can type it later now what it helped me let me show you okay so it also captured the process execution time which took 1 minute 24 seconds because i was waiting and talking that's why otherwise it would have done in matter of a uh, few seconds right application used in the process as is process map so do you see it has created as is process map so you have to go to this screen then you have to go to screen number two here and xyz and then if i still scroll down it tells me process statistics process one windows there were two screens actions i have taken four actions mouse clicks i have done four key pressed zero text entry zero hotkeys use zero so you see how nicely it is telling you all the detailed steps which will be useful just imagine you have 20 or a huge process where you are taking multiple windows you are working on multiple actions so this will tell you how your project is complicated or simple right is it simple medium complex it is going to tell you through this process statistics detailed statistics acme here you have two mouse clicks acme this page you have to see how nicely it is giving you all these statistics you have two mouse clicks here in the second screen also you had two mouse clicks okay very good now let's scroll down detailed as is process estimated time it took this much for the first screen you clicked on the user option you clicked on user option see how nicely it has documented look at the uh, image quality and everything estimated time it took 29.9 seconds click on reset test data it took 15.4 seconds so at the end it also tells for a user when he does it manually how much time it takes for him to do it manually you can just ask a business user okay i'm installing task capture i will start you don't have to talk to me simply do the process end to end 
then you would be able to see the exact time the human being has taken to complete a process so here it took 29.9 seconds here it took 15.4 seconds so it's capturing uh, then the screen 2 in the screen 2 uh, click on reset test data button click on ok button look at it how nicely it is coming so this is the end of the process so finally you got a you know pre-created pdd for you and rest of the things you have to enable document but it helped you in a lot so just imagine it is a 20 step process it has saved a lot of time for you isn't it all right now let's see the second option if i click on file and click on export there is something called ui path studio xaml and there is something called studio x so we are using studio right so i'll go with studio and there's another option called diagram as image so let's explore this what it is i'm going to click on diagram as image i'm going to save it okay now once the save is complete i'm going to double click on this and you can see this is how this is a pretty simple one okay now leave it let's go back to file export and hit on studio xaml now here it is saying are you going to use classic activities or are you going to modern act i'll say modern and i'm going to hit on export and i'm going to hit on save completed open file now it is because it is xaml you have a studio should automatically open this if not you can select your studio okay now in the recent version of uapa studio currently i am using 2025.0.157 now in this you might see a problem if you see this problem all you have to do click on go to the design panel click on manage packages okay and here go to all packages and install ui dot ui automation activities and hit on install and click on save okay now once the package is installed you see all the uh, red marks that you had is gone now here see it has shown you a kind of a flow diagram now it is just not the flow diagram i'll show you what is in it okay now you can redesign this how you want okay it doesn't matter you can resize or change the arrow and all these things you can do but look at it what it has done if you go to your project panel you see it has created a xaml called acme reset data steps now when you open the xaml it appears something like this now if you click on this it actually has created the steps for you see um the application path is this chrome.exe and then you are opening the acme right and then uh, there's a click activity there's a click activity here and if you click on any of this activity and click on properties um you see that selectors has been already done so there are a lot of things that automatically happen for you you might have to slightly edit or do a little bit of test and make modification but imagine if it is a complex flow it is already creating you or it is it is already giving you little bit of development task is already done for you through the task capture which is pretty interesting all right so try this and do comment in the comment section of the video how many of you were able to successfully try this on acme let me know in the comment section please